So apparently there's data engineers out there that don't look at their data. Stop doing this. Data quality is killing your gains. Data quality is essential to building production grade pipelines. If stakeholders are making decisions off your data, they need to know that it's correct. Every instance where your data is missing or broken degrades trust in your platform and invalidates the hard work that you do. There's several dimensions to data quality. Timeliness. Is it ready within a certain time frame? Completeness. Is it all there? Accuracy. Is it aligned with the source of truth? Validity. Is it in the accepted format? Consistency. Is it aligned across systems? And uniqueness. Is it free of duplicates? In Dagster, there's a few ways to implement data quality checks. You can use asset checks, you can use DBT tests, and you can integrate with third-party sources like Great Expectations. In this video, I'm going to show how to use asset checks to check for if field values are in an accepted range, schema changes, and freshness. Now let's go to the code. So in this example, we have two assets. The first one is a pandas data frame that has a date and a value column. And the second one is a downstream asset that takes the sum of the value column and groups it by month. Now I want to create a check that makes sure the values in the first column are within an accepted range. And to define a asset check in Dagster, it's similar to defining an asset where you have a function and then you have the asset check decorator, and then you define the asset that you're going to check. For schema changes, I'm looking to see if all the expected columns are in the said data frame. I added a blocker to this check to halt any downstream assets if the materialization fails. And that's simple to do uh, up here in the asset definition. And then for our final check, uh, we also have a blocker on this one. And it's checking to see if there was a update in the past day. So let's go to the UI. So we have our assets here in our little graph. And let's materialize these and see what happens. Oh no, looks like our assets failed. Let's see what happened. So if you go to the asset details page, we have a tab here for checks that'll show you any of the checks and any reason why they failed. So it looks like we're missing a set of data for the current date. So it looks like our freshness check failed. And we can go to this tab in the asset details page, and it'll show you all the executions and whether they passed or failed for your asset checks. Let's go fix this first asset so we can have all green here. So we're just going to add an entry for today's date, which is the 8th. Save that, reload our definitions, and let's rematerialize these. Boom, that's what we like to see, all green. Now I know this example is really simple, and in a production environment, your assets and asset checks are going to be more complicated. But this was just to show you how you can define asset checks in a similar way that you define assets. And you can additionally define additional automation and other conditions with your asset checks to make your entire pipeline more robust. And if you like this video, you should give Dagster a try. And additionally, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn. Thank you.